Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm GamerBoy3366, and welcome to Red Dead Redemption 2 Epilogue, actually, because uh, now we're playing the Epilogue, which um, is, as you guys don't know, uh, or if you guys don't know, uh, it is after the game and all the credits and stuff like that, and it just plopped me right in there, right into the Epilogue, so uh, I didn't get to film an outro, or... Well, actually, yeah, I didn't get to film an outro or an intro uh, to last episode or this episode. So, uh give you a little intro right now. But, uh, yeah, and I just want to thank you guys so much for all the support on Red Air Redemption 2 and the videos. Give me all those likes and stuff. Let me know you guys, let me know if you guys like them and stuff like that. And as you can see on here... 15 minute video it's not really that long because i didn't know how long the actual video was going to be but they should make it a little bit longer it should stretch it about two minutes maybe so it'll be 18 or 19 i don't even know i don't know why i'm telling you guys this i just thought it was relative information so uh but yeah uh just i'm gonna play exactly where we left off because it just as i said it just plopped me right into the uh, epilogue and things like that but uh yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the show. So it'll be 18 or 19, I don't even know. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this, I just thought it was relative information, so, uh, but yeah, uh, just, I'm gonna play exactly where we left off, because it just, as I said, it just plopped me right into the uh, epilogue and things like, like that, but, uh, yeah, uh, enjoy the rest of the show. So it'll be 18 or 19, I don't even know. I know I'm telling you guys this, I just thought it was relative information, so, uh, but yeah, uh, just, I'm gonna play exactly where we left off, because it just, as I said, it just plopped me. Someplace lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutchman's right. Maybe we should just go on to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John, please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in in strawberries. What do you know about strawberries? I know they like good, honest, hardworking men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I'm always honest. Maybe not always good, but I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes in books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's the reading. A bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence on your mother. Which your books? Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Pa. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's... King Arthur, and there's Sir Lancelot, and the Lady Guinevere, and a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. Especially the King Arthur one. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. He's carrying a satchel. Why don't you pull up just here? I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Okay. Help 
you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing, as long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed a few mm. days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh, well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now, if you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, yeah, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. Oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Go to the doctor's office. I'm still just like in shock right now. That's how that ended. Mike is still alive, being the traitor that he is with Dutch. Thank you, Doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. Okay, turning back to the wagon, and it should be all loaded up. You load her up pretty good, Milton. Good. Now you ride slow now. Gettys don't want his goods damaged. Of course. Okay. You gotta take it nice and slow. I just, just after that they put you in this a few years later. Now we're with John Marston. By the way, there should be two more chapters after chapter six, which is, I think, what we just got done with. So yeah, all the others, there's eight chapters. There's like three chapters of sadness. Are you honest living for a whole two chapters? Mm. 
Huh. Well, shit. Okay, let's try that again. You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes. It's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, losing business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We're all one. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Delicious. Oh, When's, uh, okay. Boss man gonna sell this place, boy. I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine Scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here. Take that horse if you need it. And don't okay, you hurt. sons of bitches. Outlaws. Come back here. All right. Hey, I'll be taking my wagon back. Come here, bitch. Where will the other one go? He ran off, I guess. <laughs> Bitch. Okay. Let's go back. Oh. The wrong type. Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. What does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when midterns. All right. Huh.
Joyous Living. Epilogue, Part 1. Alright, I'm going to leave this episode here. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how long it's going to be. I might cut it or something like that. If, if, if you guys just... I didn't cut it, and we're just going to keep on going. And that's, like, a part of my editing process. But, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, this is actual shit, to be honest. Arthur dying in that shitty... Micah betraying everybody. It's just sad, really. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, in the meantime, drop a like, 